Thanks for coming, Les, helping us out again. I've um, got my good friend uh, Les Taylor here. He's, uh, he's going to be our expert witness. He's fetched me these loads just to further the, uh, the debate on the 410. These are all loads that Les has put together himself. He's a 410 enthusiast and uh, I think he's a, he's a right uh, lad to talk to when it comes to uh, devising a load that's going to be used on uh, on game. Home loading is not something for everybody, you just go rushing out and and buy all the components and just start loading willy-nilly. It's it's a dangerous, it can be a dangerous activity if they don't know what they're doing. Especially with a 410, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 410s are notoriously... High pressure. High pressure. Yeah. So what advice would you give anybody that's wanted to load anything, 410s or 12 bores? Well, like you say, you're far better off uh, actually seeing somebody demonstrate how to, how to load a, a shell. Mm -hmm. uh, but the main thing is start low and build up. Yeah. Other people think if you start high and come yeah. down, well, that's when you blow yourself through the roof. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. so this is an example of uh, of what you've got to do, really, to, to, make a fo to make the 410 load actually work, and especially on, on game. You know, we, we don't want to be buying anything that's going to be, or making anything that's going to be crippling anything. Ultimately, it's we've got to be fair on the quarry, and we want, we need to be going out there with something that's going to stop it dead. Exactly. You yeah. know. Anyway, let's get to the pattern plate and see what we make of these. Uh, we're going to we're going to start at 55 yard. It's going to be an exact copycat of the uh, the first 410 uh, versus 12 bore film <clears throat> and the reason we're doing it that way is it's fair then all the way through and we stand at 55 yard at my uh, uh, game patterning distance we'll go to 40 and then to 30 and we're just going to emulate what we did in the first film 55 yards. 55 yards. So we're starting on the 20 gram four. Pretty big game load. Which is roll turnover as well. Roll turnover. Obviously, it's very patchy, but it's it's a 55 yard, and I didn't really expect anything different. But it's got two pellets that would have killed a partridge on yeah. there, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Two pellets in the chest area that would have uh, that would have killed it. That's the pattern on the other side. You can see how how big a gap they are there. Yeah. And you yourself, your in your own opinion, you won't you wouldn't want to use that on no. 55 yard game. No, definitely not. You know, for me that's that's gonna that's a killing load that mm -hmm. uh, Les. Even, even at 55 yard, if you could have put a if you could get few, it on uh, it, if you could have put a few more pellets mm -hmm. in that pattern. That would have been a, a killing load. <coughs> this is 19 grams of five shot, and it's a, a crimp finish rather than a roll turnover. That's the ones you'll prefer? Yes. Yeah. And I'll just say something about the gun. It's, it's Les's own gun. Uh, we're putting everything through the full choke. It's, it's a Browning, uh, dedicated 410. It's not sleeved or anything. It is a proper 410. But we've got, looks like, three strikes, three impressions, one, two, three. But um, pattern, what would you say, Les? Any, no, no, no better no, than the four. Rubbish. It's rubbish, I mean, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. Well, again, it wasn't loaded to shoot at 55 yards. That's, so what, that's what we're trying to get at. You can just see where a bit of power's hit that one. Yes. So it's tight to get through. But it just hadn't, it just hadn't had the energy to get through. I wouldn't say I'd be very impressed on putting it on any game whatsoever at 55 yard. No, yeah, no. you can see yeah. they haven't quite had the energy. No. They're not as big as the number four in the, where they flattened them. So dropping energy on the five and no better pattern really. Right, what have we got here, Les? 19 gram and six. Again, crimp finished. We haven't got anything on the uh, the disc at all, so we haven't got any uh, penetration uh, test on it. Pattern wise, a few wow. more pellets, but you wouldn't you wouldn't shoot a uh, 
any life quarry at all at that distance. As soon as you go on a smaller pellet, there's less energy. You've got less energy whatsoever. There's there's some that's half size. So with the test that we've done, and with something a bit more extensively tested than our other loads, the fir off on the first film, I think it's we've proved that at 55 yard, I don't think we should be using a 410. No. Exactly 40 yard. Lovely. Right, what you got here for us, Les? This again is a 20 gram fall, roll turnover. I can only see two, well, can, so we've yeah. penetrated it well, which we, we knew that would happen. Now, we'll, we'll see it better when we turn it over, mm -hmm. but these are a concentration of pellets here, but we're gappy everywhere else. Yep. At 40 yard, would you still be putting that on a high pheasant or a high partridge? No, the fact that you've got these here where I, I can crawl through. Yeah, yeah that's, it's, that's a nice central pattern, but yeah. can you put that where you want it? At 40 yards. Yeah, yard. yeah. Don't forget as well, vertical. Yes. There's a there's a even more dropping power. Mm -hmm. Even at 40 yard, this the 20 gram four. Although it's got the power, it's failing on pattern again. Mm -hmm. 19 gram of fives. Again, it's crimped, crimp closure. Yeah. Surprisingly enough, we've got two pellets, and they've gone through. They've drilled it. The pattern started to come started together. To come together. Yeah. So with the with the 19 gram five, I won't say a tight pattern. But we've got a tighter pattern than we've than we've had from the uh, the 55 yard mark. How confident would you be in shooting these at 40 yard, Les? Would you? I'm getting less confident. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, you've just heard it from the horse's mouth. Les has uh, he's, he's had his eyes opened. The power's there, Les. Yeah. At 40 yard. Yeah. The power's there. But um, getting a little bit better, Les. It's getting better, buddy. Getting better. 19 gram sixes. This is your favourite load. Favourite load. Tell me why it's your favourite load, Les. Because it kills everything. <laughs> At 30 yard or 30, 25, 25 yard. 25, 30 <laughs> yard. Right. We are at 40 yard and um, it has actually penetrated the disc. Um, it's, it's bumped on one. We've got four pellets, so pattern's getting there. Yeah. It's just struck the edge there, so you call it five strikes. That's uh, more even pattern, Les. Still a bit gappy. Still a bit gappy, but. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah. I mean, this is what I would consider to be the extreme distance. For right. Yeah. I wouldn't want to do it all the time, but you will occasionally. You will occasionally get stretch that way. Yeah. As you can see, at 40 yard, it's uh, it's made a superb job of them. So I think Les is right about uh, his number six. It's got the power. This is a clear load. What is it? Seven. 18 gram. Of seven and a half. Eighteen gram of seven and a half. Well, Les, that is surprising. <laughs> when you look at that, uh, the three-inch clay load that I put uh, on the on the first film, we've emulated the same. It's exactly forty yard. I think we got one with a little dint in it. That's all, all right. off the off the foreign cartridge. This is your. This is the one that you've made. We've got three pellets there. In fact, there's four pellets, that's a double one. That's a double, yeah. That's a double, so we've got four pellets there. As you can see, even without turning the board over, we've got a, a pretty decent pattern that would uh, quite happily catch a springy tail at 40 yard and, ki and, and kill it lovely. Yeah. At 40 yard on a clay, that's definitely showed a marked improvement on the, the ones I uh, shot the other day yeah. on, the, on the first film. Yeah, let us just remark this is the low that he uh, that he won the World 410 Championships. There's a lot of power. Look at power in that. Yeah. There's a lot of power in them. Mm -hmm. And whatever if whatever clay any one of them hit, just one will break a clay anyway. Exactly 30. Exactly 30. Lovely. 
Right, we're now at 30 yard, which I class as the, I think, and Les will, will bear me up on this, probably class this as 30 yard, the ultimate this killing distance really for a 410. Yeah. This is where you can enjoy yourself at this distance. Yeah. This is the 20 gram, 20 four. gram four. Roll turnover. Roll turnover. Are you ready, Les? I'm ready. Good lad, you get it. <laughs> um, it's a it, it's a small pattern, but this is where where I always say a four ten isn't for beginners. No, because that's a real killing load, is that? Mm -hmm. And it's a real killing pattern. But for me, in an expert's hand, it's a lovely pattern, but it's. It, it's minute. It's small. Yeah. You know, it, it's it's maybe what at most 18 inch across. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely shattered the um, the DVD. We'll we'll just uh, we've got nine pellets on the DVD on the on the on the bird's body, and that will kill any any pheasant at 30 yard, not a problem. And that's where I like to see that is a devastating killing load is that at 30 yard is absolutely shredded most of the pellets that's what I'm looking for in every one of my game loads going back to the uh, the 19 gram of five um, I think at this range is going to be devastating don't Should you be. yeah Uh, as uh, as you were remarking, Les, it's it's the kill area is brilliant. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's not a, not you're a not nice happy, pattern. You're not happy with the pattern, are you? No. It's just I would have expected this load to be a little bit more uniform in it. Yeah. Pattern. Yeah. It's a little bit clumpy there, clumpy there, clumpy there. It's not as even as the four was. No. But there's a lot of smoke there, Les. Well, That's the, there's a lot of energy still. There's a lot of energy in them pellets. Yeah. So quite happy on the killing front. Mm -hmm. No problem there. Just uh, for the benefit of the uh, the watchers. It's been raining while we've been doing this, so that's why we've got stuff stuck to the pellets. But that's shattered the pellets, Les. Yeah. So no problem with the energy in that. Nope. Not a problem at all. Whatever that struck, that's a dead bird. Right, Les is smiling, he was break dancing when he just fetched his cartridge to me. <laughs> you know, he did three, three somersaults to get here with his favourite cartridge, his secret load. And this is the 19 gram of six. Yep. Right. And what are you expecting, Les? Absolute devastation. <laughs> well, I could see. That's are you ready, Les? Unloaded. You want to catch this because this is the famous load. Very good, lad. Right, come here, Les. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you've, uh, you've proven to be the right man to call upon when needed. And uh, I'm glad I sought your advice. This is Les's favourite load. And as you can see, that's why it's his favourite load. It's a perfect pattern at 30 yard. And it's given him, give him a good two foot spread here. And uh, still down to the accuracy of the uh, of the shooter, of course. Still, for me, not a children's gun and not a beginner's gun. No, no. And you've got you've got a lovely pattern there, but I know full well the 28 bore will beat it. Mm -hmm. The 12 bore will still certainly flatten it. Yeah. So bringing kids up on four tens is still for me. A no, no, I'd rather introduce them into a 28 bore. But fantastic load that, Les. It is. And let's just see, we'll count the pellets, but they have done the dirty on the DVD, so to speak. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-twenty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twel
as well as the pattern plate. And when I see that, I know that there's nothing going to survive yeah. three or four pellets of that on, on the body. So it, it, it's been an experience just to, you know, to actually see the uh, 410 to its full potential. I'm but sure. there again, we've yeah. got to emphasize on live game, 30 yard for me is, is its ultimate. Are they all singing and dancing, 410? World, is it, this is why you won the world champions with, with it. We've come from 55 yard to 30 yard. We've got into the, the zone at 30 yard where it's become a, a consistent load and a consistent killer. Yeah. So, well, I don't know what we've got on here. We'll have to take this off. It's absolutely shattered the, the disc. So we've got 11 pellets here concentrated. That would smoke a clay, that, Les. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That smoke a clay, and we've got a lovely even pattern. So, well done, Les. Thank you very much. But, uh, but looking at that, it's absolutely shattered the pellets. So the power's, it's got all of power. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice pattern. And um, it's of world championship credibility. Right, that concludes our 410 testing for today. Uh, I've, obviously, we've introduced Les early on, and we've done a, as, as a, a good two or three hours testing, intensive testing on loads, what Les uses himself. And they have proven to be more devastating than uh, the loads that I introduced the first film to. It's, it's just proven that there's more to the 410 than what I originally thought. And we're going to do the factory loads. And I'm hoping we're going to get a good collection of factory loads. I always get this effect when I ask about 410 loads to the factories. <laughs> so, they don't really want to know. And you'll be the nail on the head, Les, they're very difficult to load. There's a lot of things go wrong, go, goes wrong with them in a factory. So stay tuned for the, uh, the next film, which, is, which will all be factory loads. It'll be fair all the way down the line. We're going to have a bit of everything. And Les is going to come along and uh, put them through the paces. And you can do the shooting. I'll do the commentary. <laughs> <laughs> The, the, they still won't understand us, Liz. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. <laughs>